With episode 9 coming out later this year, I've been revisiting some of the things from episode 7 and 8 to get ready for the Rise of Skywalker, and a few things have really stood out to me as very interesting. So in today's video, I want to look at three things from the ending fight between Kylo Ren and Rey on Starkiller Base in episode 7, all of which are taken from the canon novelization of the film. The first has to do with the question of whether or not Kylo Ren knew who Rey was or who she wasn't. More than a few of us got the impression from the movie that Kylo knew who Rey was by the way he reacted when the officer tells Kylo that Finn had received help on Jakku from a girl. Maybe you remember that part. He yells, what girl? And then Force pulls the officer into his grasp. Like in the movie, throughout the book, Rey questions who she is, so the theory that Kylo already knew who she is is very interesting. This would also give us some answers as to why he lied to her, or at least I believe he lied to her, when he said that her parents are nobody. Now in episode 8, it seems that Kylo doesn't know her, but let's take a look at what the Force Awakens book says about it. We'll jump to the part where Rey is knocked out and Kylo has just shanked in their lightsaber battle on Starkiller Base. Kylo Ren reaches out for Luke's lightsaber to summon it to himself with the Force. It flies to him, but then suddenly changes directions into Rey's outstretched hand. The fact that Rey is able to dislodge Luke's lightsaber from the snow before Kylo certainly seems to confirm in his mind that she's someone in particular. Now, I'm going to quote from the book. Rey appeared equally shocked that her reaction from the device had exceeded his. She gazed down at the weapon now resting in her grip. It is you, Ren murmured. His words unsettled her, not for the first time. He seemed to know more about her than she did about herself. Now, that is crazy to me. I mean, clearly Kylo knows something about her. Why else would he say, it is you? Was there a prophecy about her that he knew as well? Was she someone that he knew about previously if he knew her parents? Now, here's a side note about Rey's parents. The book certainly tells the story that Rey had loving parents, not some drunken sailors that sold her for drinking money, like we hear in episode 8. At the end of the Force vision from touching Luke's lightsaber, she hears the voice of her parents. In the book, it says, once more she climbed to her feet, her chilled breath preceding her, from in front of her not far away. Came the sounds of battle, the cries of the wounded and the clashing of weapons. Then behind her, another voice, that voice. Stay here, I'll come back for you. She whirled, glazed eyes desperately scanning the dark gaps between the slender trees, trying to penetrate the darkness. Where are you? She started running towards the voice. I'll come back, sweetheart, I promise. Now, call me crazy, but that not only sounds like a loving parent, probably a mother, or you know, maybe a father, one of the two, but also explains why Ray was waiting for their return all those years, because they literally told her that they'd be back. Of course, episode 8 potentially retconned all of this, but JJ could bring it back to this point again in episode 9. Remember, the movie novelization are canon, although Lucasfilm has also said that the movies take precedence if there are discrepancies. For example, Poe and Rey meet in The Force Awakens book, but then don't actually meet until the Episode 8 movie. The second point I found really interesting from The Force Awakens book comes at the very end of the fight between Rey and Kylo. It's after her awakening in the Force, and she starts to wail on Kylo with her lightsaber, and she makes him drop his own. As she does this, she hears a mysterious voice and feels the pull of the dark side. The book says this, take a glancing blow to the head and chest. Kylo went down. A prominent burn slashed across his face. Weakened, he reached out towards his lightsaber, trying to draw it to him. One quick final strike, and she could kill him. The landing lights of General Hux's shuttle appeared in the distance, coming over the trees in her direction. She had to make a decision now. Kill him, a voice inside her head said. It was amorphous, unidentifiable, raw, pure vengeful emotion. So easy, she told herself. So quick, she recoiled from it from the dark side. The world shook beneath her as the world began to split, turning away from the injured figure. She ran back to where Finn lay badly wounded. So first off, good job on Rey for resisting the dark side, but the big question remains, whose voice told her to kill him? At the time, the obvious choice would have been Snoke encouraging her to kill his apprentice so that she could take his place at his side, as we know he was pretty interested in her. It's something that every dark side master seems to encourage at some point. But now it's a very real possibility that it was Darth Sidious who said those words to her. If Palpatine had been pulling the strings of Snoke and Ren from the beginning, which we'll definitely find out in Episode 9, he certainly could have been able to communicate with Rey at this time as well, especially in this immense vulnerability that she had. He definitely had the power to send her this message through the Force, since he was known to be able to communicate and sense things through the Force from across the galaxy. He even choked Dooku from across the galaxy once in the Clone Wars. Additionally, Palpatine had the motive
motive to tell her to kill Kylo. Kylo in this moment is completely falling to the dark side. He just lost to a girl that has never even fought with a lightsaber. If they were my minion, I'd be pretty upset too. And I definitely want this girl to feel the power of the dark side so I could rally her to my cause easier. Of course, most of these points apply to Snoke as well, so we'll just have to wait and see how much Palpatine has been involved in the episodes of 7 and 8, which should give us an answer for this question. Now finally, a third thing that we learned from canon in the episode 7 book is how General Hux is able to find and evacuate Kylo Ren in time before Starkiller Base's explosion. This is something that a ton of people have wondered since it's completely glossed over in film, but actually has a pretty simple explanation. The book reads, Utilizing the tiny position sensor emplaced in Ren's belt, Hux had tracked him to his spot. He would have taken Rey and Finn as well, if not for the command that had been issued by the Supreme Leader. That took precedence over everything. There was simply no time left. The two renegades were going to die there anyway, so he told himself as he followed the troops carrying Ren into the nearby shuttle. So basically, Hux uses a find my iPhone kind of app with Kylo's belt to know where he is and then speeds them both away from danger. A simple answer to a question that everyone had. So what do you all think? Did Kylo Ren know who Rey was in episode 7? And did Palpatine try to tempt Rey with the dark side? Let me know in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, remember, the Force will be with you always.